everybody and welcome back. But being productive doesn't always mean you have to be busy. And being a productive homemaker doesn't mean you always have to be rushing around to get something done. Hi everybody, I am Homestead Tessie and I cannot wait to share with you today's video. It's all about the productive homemaker. Yes, that is a title to a channel and that channel has really inspired me in many ways and I want to share with you how she inspired me and I want to share with you my change of thinking about what is a productive homemaker and my thoughts on my young homemaking life and my thoughts on homemaking now. So I'll meet you in the kitchen because I'm going to be working on a project and I'll talk to you while I work on that. to today's video. As you've seen in the title, we're going to talk about the productive homemaker. Now, before I get into this subject, I do want to share with all of you, I do realize there is a channel called The Productive Homemaker. And that is what really inspired me to talk about this subject because I'm going to talk about the homemaker who is my age, the homemaker who their children are all grown and left the home and what is being a productive homemaker and how can we have that in implement in our lives our whole life but first i want to say that this is a beautiful channel and i will share with you her channel link in the description box below now many of you have come to know about her channel because she uses my hashtag homestead tessie and i want to reach out and thank her so much for doing that that was so kind and beautiful that she was using my hashtag because a lot of my subscribers got to know her through the hashtag so the hashtag means that if you share hashtags with one another YouTube will then share it to different platforms or different channels. And because she used Homestead Tessie, some of, pretty many of you would see her lined up with my videos. Because she's fairly new channel, in other words, she doesn't have a lot of content out there. She really doesn't have a hashtag. So I decided to bless her and I created her hashtag and I will be sharing her hashtag in my videos that way it can bounce back and forth. So while she uses Homestead Tessie, I want to promote her channel as well. I have the productive homemaker in my hashtag. And hopefully after a while, it will build a platform that when her videos come out, she'll have her own hashtag. It takes many years to create your own hashtag. And since I have thousands of videos and I'm Homestead Tessie, my Homestead Tessie is would be ranking the top of that hashtag now there are other channels that use my hashtag sometimes and the proverbs home is another one with a beautiful friend of mine which you all know and that is really amazing when channels will use hashtags of each other i'm sure most of you have already seen the three rivers challenge that is another hashtag that's been used to thousands of channels so it's a really amazing world that we live in and a community. So when we have these hashtags going back and forth, they are promoting each other and helping each other. So society would say in the past, well, in the last 10, 15 years, that being a homemaker is not very productive. They would say you should get out and get a job. But there's some grassroots efforts that are happening that are sh promoting women that stay at home. And I think that's really exciting because it's showing that you can be productive and be at home. In fact, it's putting a highlight on the younger generation that being at home is a very productive life. So I add a little of my pepper jelly to it. Now as this heats, it's gonna get more liquefied. All right, so I did wipe the rims. I'm just gonna wipe them again just real quick here and we're gonna put the lids on so we're pressure canning this for about 30 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure and this makes it so good with the pepper jelly it's absolutely amazing I won't can cheese anymore without adding this pepper jelly. It just gives it an amazing flavor. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the canner. A big flaw I had in my thinking 
was that unless you were constantly busy, you were, weren't being productive. So for many years, well, most of my married years, I was constantly busy doing this project and that project in order to be productive. But what I realized is the older I get, you can be productive and it doesn't always mean you have to be constantly busy. And one of the ways I'm learning to be more productive and that is with the mental health and productive as far as gaining peace in my life is a lot of journaling. So I have this whole set of books and it's called Simple Abundance. And I really love these books, but it's journaling. And this is productive because it's helping me in many tangible ways that isn't always being so busy. I tell you many times in my videos that slow living is something that doesn't come easy for me. I wasn't born to be slow living. Slow living was something that I had to acquire and still am learning because my nature is to rush around and always be busy. In the years of my channel, I've done so much work, so much canning, so much preserving. I really don't need to do that this year. So what are you going to find? A productive homestead Tessie, but in different ways. I'm going to be doing more journaling and sharing with you my lessons in learning the slower life. As we get older, naturally, there's parts of our life that has to slow down. That's just a part of getting older. I am going to have a big garden this year. I'm going to be getting some mushroom soil and using my raised garden beds and I'm going to be planting a lot of food, fresh food to eat and I'm really excited about that but it's just going to be a very slow pace of doing things and that's something that's not easy. Did I say that before? I'll probably say that a hundred times in the next 30 days because what the Lord is teaching me most is, is to slow down and just enjoy the moment.